Sun Ra was such a great leader that he chose people to be in his organization who really believed in him. One of the things, if you know about this music, you know that uh, there are many great leaders who created leaders. Uh, Jackie McLean is one, uh, you know, uh, but people like Art Blakey, for instance, created, there were many people who uh, played in the Art Blakey ensemble who wound up going on and leading their own bands. Count Basie, uh, many people who worked in Count Basie's band who wound up leading their own bands. Duke Ellington, same thing. People who worked in his band who wound up leading their own bands. Sun Ra was very, very, very different. Yeah, uh, and that was the thing that um, uh, over the years I got to understand his uniqueness. He chose people to be in his band who believed in him. And the people who believed in him stayed with him. And so they didn't necessarily go about creating their own bands. They managed to sustain his concept for 70 years, 70 years, right? Uh, from the 1950s until today, the band is still around because he found people who believed in him and wanted to, wanted to follow uh, the philosophy that he presented to us. Yep. <laughs> That's a unique thing. That's a very, very, very different thing. Very different from uh, the, the musicians I named who, um, who you know who are great. So his greatness was different. So, <clears throat> so last year when I decided that I was going to do something different uh, with Sun Ra's music because of uh, what we were doing remotely, I said I was going to teach a course about the unsung heroes of the Sun Ra Orchestra, the people who helped to make this institution last for 70 years. Who are those people? Yep. And, and, uh, and why were they important? What was it that Sun Ra found in them that uh, would allow them to continue his vision even after he left the planet? 